always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Quiet and comfortable tonight. Watching where those showers and thunderstorms are landing, it's mainly near Sault Ste. Marie and then cutting down towards Alpena. And this happens oftentimes when you get this huge wave of heat to start to move in. Showers and storms often form on the northern fringe. So if we want to see where the northern fringe is, where it's a little cooler, it's basically where the rain is going to be traced tonight and tomorrow. So through Wednesday, 11 a.m., we're not expecting much overnight tonight here locally, but showers and storms are likely, especially on the east side of our state. And if we look at the chance for showers and storms for our day tomorrow, notice that it does include some of our viewing area, even portions of Muskegon County and Ottawa County, Kent County included in the one out of five severe risk. The thing is, shower chances aren't going to be all that widespread or likely, but because it's so hot and humid, if a storm can form, it's going to get so strong so quickly. So the zone that we're looking at for that possibility is everywhere in green. But I think many of us are going to be staying just hot, sunny, and dry through the day tomorrow. Lows tonight dropping to the 60s. Then we start to ramp up along with the humidity. It's really by the time we get to about 2 o'clock that it starts to get uncomfortable. And then really difficult towards 5 o'clock. 99 isn't unprecedented here. Again, we're pretty used to that in the summertime here in West Michigan. But we haven't experienced it a lot lately. So tomorrow's going to be one of those days that could really catch you off guard. And if we look at the heat index future cast, you can see that the 90s are just a start. Some could be even hotter than that. Sturgis cold water peak heat indice, so the worst it could feel in the afternoon, as hot as 104. If you're hoping to head to the lakeshore to beat the heat, it's a great idea. Lake Michigan water temperatures are in the 60s right now, so that will offer some relief, but just know that the wind is also going to be picking up out of the southwest. So unfortunately, that means that the waves are also going to be growing to about three to six feet, and that is a dangerous level. Usually we see the most incidents when we have three footers out on Lake Michigan, and six footers could really be quite difficult. So red flags are expected to fly across area beaches tomorrow. It's a great day to dip your toes, not a great day to swim freely off the shore. Heat index future cast for Thursday. Notice numbers very similar. In fact, some spots it could actually be hotter. So we're watching for the potentiality of that and more heat alerts to be issued on Thursday. We're also going to be watching for the chance of showers and storms on Thursday because if we have the storminess, then we won't have the heat as hot. Friday, 84, start to back things down, still humid. It's Saturday, Sunday that we start to feel a bit more refreshing. And then Monday, Tuesday, we get a surge of very comfortable air. So the heat and the humidity only last about two to three days at most.